sure, I'll tell you this, I'm not sure that anybody can do it cheaper than insurance companies who've been in the business of doing it for a hundred years. All right, uh, next question was Harry uh, hey, Goggins from Tuscaloosa. No, this is the next one. No, that's uh, right. Claire Mosley from Tuscaloosa will follow Harriet Goggins. Harriet Goggins? By the way, I know Harriet Goggins, but I didn't put it here. Where is it? Right there. Um, we have two precious grandsons who have autism. Yes. Uh, they're ages 16 and 15, most precious boys you'd ever know. My daughter is um, works for Vest Davis Schools, and we all work, but it takes a tremendous amount of money to take care of these boys, with lots of therapy, and just lots and lots of things that, I mean, it would take a very rich person to be able to uh, accommodate all their needs. Right. So is there anything in the bill for, for people who, Families who have children with autism, and by the way, uh, I think the latest number is one out of every 150 children are diagnosed now with autism. So it's something that, I mean, we need research, we need mental therapy, and lots of different things for these precious children and their families. That's right. Uh, in fact, uh, I don't know that, you, you know, but my wife, Linda, actually hosted an autism conference in Washington with members of Congress and their staff to inform them on the problem. Uh, here is what, you know, I can't tell you whether this bill would address it or not. I can tell you this, and this is not, and uh, we have in our family uh, a young uh, uh, five-year-old who has not uh, that, but he has sort of a spectrum disorder. Uh, and we are picking up the cost of that. You know, we're picking it up. But Massachusetts found that they started covering everything. You know, everything somebody came with, we're going to cover that, we're going to cover that. Health care, the premiums almost doubled, and now people can't afford it. And so we have to be very careful and you know, whether we short circuit that and put the government in the business of saying, you know, you have to cover this, you have to cover that, because we know what happened in Massachusetts. Now, uh, that's just one of the problems. I will say this. I was very encouraged in that meeting. They're doing tremendous studies on autism. I don't know if any of you have heard of Mitchell's Place here in Birmingham. It's uh, out on Grants Mill Road. Uh, they received funding uh, under uh, legislation uh, as one of the autism centers. And they do wonderful work. If you have someone, let me say, and I'll, I'll quit with this. If anybody in your family, you have a six-month-old or a year-old year uh, grandson or son, and uh, they are, as they begin to speak, they repeat themselves, and repeat themselves, or they become fixed on one thing, take them immediately. Don't take one opinion, go to another doctor, and 